Terry Bernstead is back behind a desk and he's added another title. He's been a farmer, legislator, lieutenant governor, governor, Des Moines University president, U.S. ambassador to China, and now ambassador in residence at Drake University following an announcement this past week. Branstead will have an office on campus in the law library. He can meet with students, occasionally teach, and he can more easily speak his mind, apparently. That's the difference between being governor and being ambassador. When you're governor, you're the chief executive of the state, and you basically are the lead person that sets policy. When you're ambassador, you're representing the United States of America in our biggest uh, rival, and uh, basically you have to clear things with the State Department. That was often frustrating for me because there were times when the Chinese said something that I wanted to counter, but and, and there's 12 hours difference between Beijing and Washington, D.C., and then it would take sometimes two or three days to get it cleared. By that time, it might be too late. So that was a frustrating experience. There's also some things that you find out as ambassador that are um, top secret, that you really can't talk about. But I've always tried to be open and honest and, and uh, direct with people. And I tried to do that as best I could. I will say I didn't get fired by the president for doing something that I wasn't authorized to do. My friend, the, Ch the ambassador from Canada, he said something when he was back in Canada and Trudeau fired him. He didn't even get to go back in China to move out. His wife had to move him out. Now, as part of his former position as ambassador, sometimes he had to take the brunt of criticism even if he wasn't actually the reason for that. A lot of what I did was accepted what the, what's called diplomatically a demarche. A demarche is getting chewed out by the other country. So I'd go to the, the, I represent the United States of America. I'm the highest official there. So the Chinese would call me in to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, something that somebody said. It might be somebody in the minority. It might be somebody in the majority in the Congress. It might be somebody in the administration. It might be just that somebody from Taiwan visited somewhere in the United States, and they'd call me in to chew me out, and then I would diplomatically return uh, my comments supporting the American position and dutifully uh, promise to deliver that message to the president. He expressed some disappointments here. Disappointed that President Biden did not push China's President Xi on the origins of COVID-19. Those two presidents had met face to face last week. Now, Brand said has actually known Xi since the 1980s and said that he's disappointed with Xi for not being more open about COVID and for not ruling China in a way that people are so scared of him like they are. The people at the local level don't dare deliver bad news to Beijing or to Xi Jinping because they know what will happen to them. They'll be gone. And that's exactly what has happened. And so they did everything they could to lie, cover it up, and say everything's fine, whatever, until it got way out of hand. Ahead of the Insider's Quick Six, new roles for both the former and the current governor.